note about. Just like I forgot to take away Peach's note about her shotgun earlier. So, yeah, I can type, really. I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, yeah, we know the goodest. The goodest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I don't know why that's not removed, but I, that note is, is good enough. Um, I, I actually warned Ross that he has, he's carrying way too many swords, so uh, he's going to have to have like a golf bag full of swords for <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just imagine trying to get through an airport. Oh. By disguising them by putting all the little fuzzy caps, golf club caps on them. Oh yeah. Oh hey. <laughs> yeah, that could that that could possibly work. Just use some socks, you know, like mm -hmm. like Happy Gilmore. Um, so let's see, Nightbird misses. Okay, Peaches. Um, okay, you get to go first. So here's the options. You can either go back into the booth where you've got some protection. You can walk forward to the hallway and try to meet the ninja. Or item three, uh, you could uh, wait uh, and take a penalty of minus two to an attack for him to come around a corner. Now... The problem is this. He's moving at all out speed. So your penalty of two and his penalty of two would cancel each other. So it would be basically a standard attack. I should probably go back in my booth. Okay. All right. You run back up in the booth and slam the door. And as you, as you take a couple of steps, he, he comes around the corner and tries to slam his electric katana into the glass itself. Okay. Instead of coming to the door. Um, so yeah. let, let me see. Huh? I said, yeah, let him. Yeah. He, he's same not special taunting. enough. Huh? Yeah. He'll get the same taunting treatment as the last guy. <laughs> he didn't see what I said to the last guy. Well, that's true. So, Electric Katana, it's going to be a penalty of 4, so I'm just going to set it at a difficulty of 14. Uh, he was running, so that's penalty of 2, but it's a stationary target, so I'm going to leave that out. Uh, called Shot Burst. He can't really do an all-out attack because he was running, so roll. 16 versus a 4. He made it. The... Um, Okay, the pain of bulletproof glass shatters between him and you because he beat the, the difficulty number that was necessary to get through the glass, okay? Um, uh, because it's, it, obviously it's moving slower than a bullet uh, and it's electric. So the electric shock combined with the, the quality of his hit and the glass is broken. Okay, so that's that's your actions. Now I've got to take care of this ninja uh, that's facing off against Chris and the tank against uh, against Nightbird. So this guy, what is his? He's got a dexterity of ten, so he can he can definitely move up there. Um, electric katana, throwing stars. Um, ooh, okay, we're going to try that. Um, so this guy, standing where he's at, is going after Chris. Um, he is doing that. Uh, now, wait a minute, hold on. A short burst of these things. Uh, rapid fire. Now that would be funny if that happened. He is throwing three uh, electric shurikens at you, Chris. Um, okay. Let's see. Aimed is a ranged attack. Exchange the. Oh no, he's not doing an aim. <coughs> let's see. Blind fire. 
not knowing the target's location. He knows where you are, so that's not too much of a penalty. Um, so here goes. 16. Huh? 16. Bonus is 3. Modifiers is plus 2. What? How did he get an action total? Hold on. I gotta go back and figure this out. That ain't right. Okay, so well, it's, does it have anything for the skill value? Well, uh, let's see. Um, it would be it would be missile weapons. There is no skill value, so that's got to go off of his basic dexterity. So dexterity ten. I'm gonna have to figure this out, and then I'm gonna have to add missile weapons at a ten, because his dexterity is a ten, and it doesn't show him with missile weapons. So I'll be fifteen. <sighs> huh? Uh, to, I plus, yeah, uh, total of 15 10. to hit. Uh, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Okay, so uh, what is your dodge? My dodge is 12. It's 12, so he's going to hit, but he doesn't get any bonuses. Now, uh, damage is strength plus 2, so that's 11 plus shock and vulnerable. Now, you only take the shock and vulnerable if you take any damage, which is going, you know... My toughness is, is 11. Is 11, 9, 10, 11. Uh, okay, so nothing special happens there. Uh, he throws the, the throwing stars at you, uh, and all three of them hit... Uh, but do nothing to you. They they just kind of seem to roll off, almost as if he didn't throw hard enough. Okay. Uh, so the Kagato Tanku. And oh, where's? Huh? Hard to keep track of. Okay, let's do that. And let's go ahead and open Nightbird and the tank. All right. So the tank again is is doing its short burst thing. Um, Hmm. Okay. But it is very vulnerable. Oh crap. I think I did something wrong. Okay, hang on. Let me look at uh I've got to look at Nightbird. Uh melee weapons failure. She hit. She hit uh, the 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 uh, Dodger Dex is twelve, um, and but it's at a minus four because it is uh, it was uh, vul or very vulnerable from the all-out attack that it made last turn. So that's minus four. So that's eight. So she hit. There's no bonus damage, but at least it takes two more shock. So that's a total of four. Now, this turn, okay, she is realizing that she can do nothing with with her weapon unless, uh, um, yeah, unless she tries to get around it, which she's going to do. Or no, wait a minute, it's the tank's turn, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, let's see, long burst, and then roll it. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's okay. It's still just two shock, so she's doing all right. Uh, okay, and then this next turn, she's gonna go hog wild because she's tired of dealing with this stupid tank. Okay, so let's see, Ginger, you had your move. He had his move. The ninja upstairs with Chris had his move, and the tank had its move. Okay. Oh, that was supposed to reduce to that. Actually, that's right, it was supposed to reduce to that, so that's done now. Okay. How am I going to do this? How am I going to describe this? I'm going to reduce the round in just a moment. Uh, get that there. Uh, let's see, so that that changes to one and one. So that means okay, 
Okay, let me set this up. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? Um. Okay. Why did it do that? This ninja can't see anything. Hold on. But he will. <laughs> oh, yes, he will. Vision, take that off. Update token. There we go. So this one comes in here. Uh, actually right there next to the fire. Oh, come on. Which way are you going? Oh, no, that's not going to work. Okay. And then there's going to be... <laughs> okay, now first off, let's go ahead and add this one to the setup. And then I, I'm, I'm preparing for the next round. Just give me a moment. Um, um, okay, this one has to be modified as well. Vision off. Okay, and then that one's out. So that's those. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right, so you have uh, Chris. If if you would please, um, I need you to make a find test. Uh, the target number is a twelve again, and of course this is not something that can make you disconnect. Okay. Uh, good success. Good success. Okay, you hear something coming from down this way, around the wall. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let me roll for Nightbird. Same thing. Fine test. And. Nope. However, she does know about this one right here. Okay. So, um, Nightbird swears in, uh, in, in Japanese and then gets a hold of herself and says we have more company it's getting ugly we have to go um, so let's see there's that one uh, okay that one doesn't come yet okay that one doesn't come yet okay Artorius uh, it's the hero's yes. turn I need you to go ahead and roll a strength test if you would please um, it's going to be at a 10 this time. So a standard uh, strength. I can roll okay. this, really. Okay, so Andon was a failure and, you're, and you were a failure. Okay, so your action total being a 4. Um, do you want to try and spend anything on that? only thing I have is a possibility and I only have one left okay um, yeah that that could turn out to be pretty bad now where is yeah. Rios okay disconnect second wind that's not gonna help and that's a reconnect um, okay Rios I gotta I gotta get her sheet open Rios does not want to lose her valet just yet so she's going to spend one of her two remaining possibilities uh, and give Andon a chance. So that's a minimum of 10. So he's got a good success. Um, okay, a failure on your part. We need to determine what that's going to look like. I want you to give me a dex test uh, versus a 12. Oh, man. I know, right? 
Um, okay, that's that's a nine versus a twelve. Um, Chris, you have a supporter. Would you be willing to use that? to save Artorius' life. Now, I, I know that I have sure. not allowed that at certain times. You're not in the same room. You don't know exactly what's going on. So, uh... It's played. Okay, thank you. Artorius, go ahead and hit your plus three card on your on your um, chat card, please. Okay. And that, uh, that will give you, of course, your 12 that will allow you to survive. Uh, you do not need to make any other rolls beyond this. Um, uh, just after you make that roll, Andon uh, calls out to you and says, um, uh, We're at the top. I can feel some kind of large metal uh, uh, round cold thing. Can you push on it? I'm gonna have him make a strength test, another one, and see Please how he does. Please don't poop above my head. Uh, uh, you are below him, so. That's why I said, "Please, please don't poop above my head." <laughs> Fourteen is not bad. It's a failure. He he pushes up on it, and you hear a little metal scrape against metal and and then he kind of he kind of drops back a little bit and, and you hear him go uh -huh, oh and and uh and he says no i'm i'm not able to push on it uh like that and with that i'm going to go over to chris and uh and nightbird okay uh Chris, what do you want to do, knowing that there are other opponents coming towards you? Okay. So, I'm going to... Uh, you know, first back up about as far... Wait, I didn't count. Uh, well, you were, you were right here. Up. Oh. Right? <laughs> I can't point at the screen and have you see it at the same time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay. okay. So, I'm thinking to make it an <clears throat> angle shot that, like, has to go, like, uh, that no way. Back uh, hold on. If you back Sorry. up like two spaces, you could actually make that shot really well. Yeah, like in a straight line like that, and uh, use pyrokinesis mm -hmm. and and my precision card so Nightbird isn't hit and just toast the both of them. Okay, so let's see. Let me let me take a look at that. Precision. <laughs> Play this card to ignore the friendly fire rule for one test or prevent an ally who would normally be included within an area effect from being affected. Okay, here's what I'm going to tell you. You see the red strips there, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, the red squares. They miss, uh, they miss her. She's not going to be in the line of fire. So yeah, you don't have I'm to play precision. Like it, I'm. Uh, no, not exactly centered on top of myself, so it'll probably be more like. Well, let me take a look. This straight line. Wait a minute. The, the black outline. Eh. The black eh. Hold That's on. Straight. Let me see something. I'm going from the center of your token to the center of that token. Look. If 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 you go center of token to center of token, you're you're not going to hit her. But you can still hit him. Now, this uh, that's, this might that's become a crispy gonna, critter, but huh? 
Yeah, but that's not going to hit the robot as well. Correct. Oh, you want to try and hit the robot? And? No, they're too far away. They're they're too far away from one another. That would be an impossible nope. shot. They're within 25 uh, meters and you don't, half precision. You don't understand what I'm saying, okay? I don't think you can hit two targets that are... Oh, well, that wasn't intended. Uh, let me see if I can drag this back. Oh, nope. Let me get rid of that. I, I see what you're trying to do, and I don't think it's possible. I Yeah, that's not possible. You're not going to hit that ninja. I'm right in the center of that ninja. And and you would not hit the ninja. If, if you got behind the robot, say here or here, there's no way. Uh, not only that, but the distance between the two... I mean, 15 meters, that's that's uh, 51 feet. Yeah, you would literally... Have a range of 25. But, but that, that doesn't matter. That's for a single target, nominally. Now, if you have targets that are close together, like these two down here were, then... Oh, that reminds me. i got to roll for something. Uh, okay. So that's going to expand a little bit more. Can I modify this? <coughs> Hey, didn't the fire, you know, fire extinguisher thing go off? The fire extinguishers went off, but have not have not extinguished it yet. How far did you take that template out? It won't let me. It won't let me adjust the or expand the template. Um, uh, so I'm just going to say the. To, hmm? I took it out to 2.9 meters. Okay. That's the radius or whatever. I, I'm going to say for this round, the fire does not grow. Um, uh, and do the fire extinguishers extinguish it? No, they do not. So, not yet at least. So, yeah, I, I'm I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to call this one. Uh, the, the square that the ninja is in, you can you can kind of scroll in and see, is, is not... It, he's not going to get hit by that, even though I've got the dot pretty much in the middle of that character okay so yeah so it's a good idea but I, I just don't think it would be right okay so in lieu of that I still get up close and still use pyrokinesis just to roast this robot because uh, Nightbird isn't doing too hot okay so before you do that you need to go over the ninja that you targeted last turn. There you go. There you go. It did it for you. Okay. So then go ahead and roll, and I'll get out the tank to see. Oh, well, maybe I'll get out the tank. There we go. And uh, uh, you'll be able to roll against that, and we'll see if, if the thing takes any damage. 19. That's outstanding. Now, your action total is a 22 versus a target dodger defense of 12. It's saying you get one shock off of that because your damage is 14 uh, versus its toughness of 17. However, you have two bonus dice uh, that so. you get to throw at that. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the one where you get three bonus dice or was that something else? That's something else. Uh, okay. Get okay, so go ahead and roll both of your bonus dice. Let's see how it treats this, this thing. Oof, that's one. Okay, and that's four. So that's two shock. shock. Do you want? Does anybody have anything they could trade that uh, that that might be worth it? Um, you didn't have would to. Would you like some? Would you like some bonus damage? <laughs> I've got a coup de grace. If you want Ooh. it, coup de gras. So you can destroy it. Coup de homie. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, and you guys. I will trade you. A rally for that, which will allow <coughs> all players to discard as many cards as they wish from their hands and then refill their hands to full. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you played the second win for me, man. So I'm, I'm fine just giving this to you, man. Yeah. Well, we have to trade. Oh well, okay, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. So. All right. Yeah, rally's fine. Uh, rally rally actually fine. sounds pretty good. So. Yeah, my plan was <coughs> was uh, use precision and then use rally. You know, pop off both of them. 
<laughs> and then get a new hand. Well, you could. That is still possible. Um, okay, are you going to give that card to uh, to Artorius then? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> or unless he wants to uh, precision instead. Now, now wait a mine. second. Uh, he's willing to take either one. Now, the card that he just traded to you um, uh, goes into your pool immediately. Okay, so coup de gras. No. All right, now do you want to spend that coup de gras? Oh, wait a minute, you haven't. There you go, precision. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll trade you the precision because I'm going to use rally. I'm decided on that. Okay, all right. All right, you're good. So, so, yeah. So, Artorius, when you get precision, that goes immediately into your pool, sir. Gotcha, sir. Okay, uh, Chris, do you want to play that coup de gras? Did I get traded to you all right? Okay. Uh, yep, Remington passed the coup de grace and Connor passed the Artur the, the precision. Uh, it's funny how they don't, the, the two cards in the chat don't come up until both are traded. And then Connor played the coup de grace. Now the coup de grace gives you an extra bonus dice, is it? Uh, Hang on. Let me pop that open. Yeah, it's a uh, play to uh, add bonus a bonus die. die to the damage. Yeah of your successful attack may be played after rolling other bonus dice uh, and seeing the results. So if you want to play that, you get to roll another bonus die. Here we go. Ow. What? That can't possibly be right. 19, 20, 21. Wow. Oh. That's, that's how the cookie crumbles. Sorry, buddy. It Okay, sure. but I'm still playing Rally. Okay. Now, uh, let me let me get into the reading for Rally real quick. Okay. Oh, I got to move that out of the way. Okay, all players may, may, not will, all players may discard as many cards as they wish from their hand. Would you guys let me read this? <laughs> Uh, no problem. From their hands. Players then immediately refill their hands to four cards. Unless you've got one that allows you... Uh, 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 some kind of a perk that allows you to get you a fifth. Please tell me when you're done with that, everyone. Um, I'm done. Dang it, I can just... Okay. If you're, you know, if if you're not at full, you can just go up to full. Yeah, you don't it, have to discard. That's true. You don't have to discard. You may discard, but you're not required to. If you've only got three cards, you get to add a fourth back. Uh, I'll discard one and try to get something good. Okay. Well, if I just draw out, if I get rid of two. Does it mean I still get the possibility? It says romance. Alternatively, discard for a possibility and draw a new card. Well, no, you could play that romance first and then do the rally. Technically, you should have taken care of that first. But I'm a pretty easygoing guy. Yeah, I didn't realize he's gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> and I would have done it at the end of the round for the uh, possibilities if I didn't have an opportunity to play. So, um, play to encourage, or and um, I can play the romance, and you get a card back and a possibility, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. And I have a nemesis card for the same. So. Okay. To make a particularly uh, reality-related character, personal enemy of my Storm Knight. You and the foe both gain three possibilities. Alternatively, discard for a possibility and draw a new card. So um, I just play these two. Well, so uh, do you rally. do you want to keep the nemesis and possibly make a, a, an enemy for life? I mean, Chris already has uh, Bouchard, or not Bouchard, um, Booker. In, in cyber France. <laughs> so, 
Um, so it's no it's thanks. no thanks. Okay, so yeah, just go ahead and discard both of those. Uh, play or discard? Oh, I'm sorry, play. Uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and play them. Uh, do you want to increase your your possibilities from four to six, or do you want to uh, want me to do it? Go ahead and do it. Okay. Keeps it, keeps me honest that way. Uh, I'm. I don't believe you guys aren't being honest ever. Okay, no. I'm always going to give you the benefit of the doubt. But if you get out of hand, I can get out of yeah. hand too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I'm trying to keep it real. Okay, and no, have, have my glory now. Um, now I can uh, to, take up one more card. One more card. The nemesis doesn't allow you to get a possibility and a card. Hang on. Uh, alternatively, discard for a possibility and draw a new card. So you get oh, okay. two new destiny cards, and yes, you can go above your hand limit because you, it's it's almost like gaining a new card from a, a, a you know a positive thing. Oh, that reminds me, it is the end of the round. I know that Nightbird missed. Uh, wait a minute. I just drew two new cards. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. So the coup de grace. Okay, so the two shock. We already took care of the two shock uh, on the tank. Uh, and and you can see uh, both uh, both Chris and Nightbird that there are 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 like loosening panels, and there are. Uh, there are, are large cuts from where Nightbird slashed this thing in a couple of places. So, um, uh, uh, so, oh, wrong one. So you've got that taken care of. Uh, we are ending the round. The rally just went out. Coup de Grasse is done. Okay, um, So villains get to go, right? So it's villain's turn. <laughs> oh, you guys are done. You guys are so toast. Um, now, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't. I thought I added that tank. <sighs> tank. And this guy is already added. Okay. Where's my other... Didn't this guy get added? No, why? That's super weird. And then, of course, this guy. And since you heard him, I'm going to go ahead and reveal him. One, two, three, four, and two of those. So why didn't this? What is going on here? My opponents keep getting taken off. Yay! That's hopefully because we killed them. Yes. Uh, no, you, you, uh, uh, actually, let's see, no, that tank isn't done. No, uh, uh No, uh, Chris got two of the ninjas, and you got one. Okay, so why are there only three ninjas? So did I get yours on there? No, I did not. So that's yours. That's super weird. Okay. Uh, so... I've determined who comes on for the next round. This is down to round one. Okay, before I draw this new card, um, and it's towards the end of the evening, uh, it's closing on 9.30, so how about this? Um, lights come on automatically all across the facility. Um, and we're talking about white lights here. All, any uh, people, uh, any outside lights are on, and Ginger, you're going to see something special in a moment. Um, okay, Artorius and Andon are not going to see this at all. They're not going to hear a thing about it unless they've got an open channel to Peaches, and I think you did. Um, so uh, you hear, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of describe it. Warning klaxons go off, the big, nasty, annoying ones. Um, and, um, 
red lights start pulsing all over the facility okay um, and any lockdowns that you did you're not going to notice this peaches but any lockdowns you did uh, are removed for the time being now I got to make sure I find the proper the proper uh, information here ah, here we go uh, you hear a bunch of Japanese sound through speakers that are hidden in the ceiling tiles all over the place when the Japanese is finished uh, uh, being spoken, uh, you hear this. Site destruction imminent. Please move to a minimum safe distance for your safety. Shit. <laughs> Peaches, what was that? And then, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Peaches, one more thing. One more thing. You see across all of those screens evacuate now e minus what um it doesn't say uh, actually hold on just a minute it may uh i gotta read this again i wrote this like months ago and now uh okay so hang on just a moment <sighs> why does it keep doing that my dice are intent on killing you guys so i'm gonna make a public roll instead um I don't know. That might not help us. <laughs> I, it may not. I, that's not much better. Okay. Um, so let's see. This is going to get a change. Okay. This is going to be difficult. You guys are not going to like me for this. But I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Everybody see that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm this... Brown. This is the perfect time to deal with this. Uh, I'm going to address this real quick. Artorius and Andon, you don't have to worry about this. Okay? Rios does not have to worry about this. Uh, at, They're at out least, of the range, huh? Right. They are going to be out of range, uh, but we will we'll deal with where Artorius and Andon are shortly. Actually, where the, those three characters are might actually turn out to be really helpful for you guys. Okay. Um, now, when we start this next week, okay, uh, we are going to... Uh, oh, Peaches, real quick. Uh, yeah. You still have the Seize Initiative card uh, with, a, with Attack and Trick. Um, you were not able to attack this round. Uh, Chris did attack, but uh, and he hit, but it only gave two damage. So, Chris, you get to draw a card. Okay. Okay. Uh, Remy, you do not get to draw a card. Um... Okay, Nightbird did not get to draw a card. Does not get to draw a card because she did not have a successful attack. Um, she missed, I think. Uh, let me go back up to her last. Uh, and an Artorius, Artorius, and an and an and an Artorius. Nightbird. Yeah, she missed on her attack. No, that was a fine test. Hold on. Uh, fire combat, missile weapons, melee weapons, Nightbird. Yeah, she missed. Okay, that was a melee weapons attack, and she missed, so she does not get a card. However, if you have not put a card from your hand into your pool for this turn, go ahead and do so. This is going to take me a minute. Everybody? Uh, yeah. And... yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't matter whether you earn a card or not. You uh, At the end of every turn, you get to put in a, a, a destiny card. Okay? Into the pool with you. Okay, now what was this one? I need to see what this one is. Oh! Oh! Okay! Um, this one's getting played right now. Okay, so... In fact, all of you are going to like this. You guys can, can kind of thumb over that and figure it out for yourself. Um, let's go ahead and open this one. Okay. 
I can't see it. Okay, go to the chat. Uh, um, and down at the bottom it says blood, place bloodbath and go yeah. over the top of the card. I can't see it. It's uh, micro uh, looks microscopic on mine. Huh? The pop up picture? A whirlwind of I'll read it. Bloodbath. Yeah, read, A read bloodbath. Shot, blows, slashes, or other attacks causes two shock to every non -rela uh, reality rated foe. In a combat encounter. Uh huh. And all of these are not reality rated. Oh, Except for us. So, now I'm going to close. This kind of makes me want to play um, mine Outbreak. Just play at any time. Uh -huh. A horde <laughs> of infected appear and are headed your way. All Storm Knights gain one to three possibilities after they deal with the creatures uh depending on the size of the horde now no. that's because all of them are trying to escape but all the ninjas are going to be trampled by these guys as well i would think yes and i have something to add to that too if you play yours i'm just trying to bounce up off you guys do you think it's a good idea i okay as the gm i'm going to recommend that that's really a bad idea and the reason that i play that is uh, uh, you've got five rounds to get out of the building, okay? And if a bunch of infected get loose, uh, in fact, let me. I'm gonna pop open your sheet so I can read that card again for for you know how it's easier to kind of see what's going on. Play it anytime. True. Repeat, it it means that would have to deal with them instead of having to deal with getting out. Out. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's exactly People right. Uh, it, you know what? You know what? It could actually help you. Um, they would all be suffering the same minus two shock, right? Or plus two shock? Well, uh, yeah, they would. They would all. Well, unfortunately, they're undead. They don't suffer shock. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, they have wounds, but no shock. So, okay, here's how this could work in your favor. Uh, I would have to place a number of zombies um, uh, with oh, you, oh, you, oh yeah you're going to hate this um, I would have to place a number of zombies with Peaches a number of zombies with Chris and Nightbird um, uh, coming their way at the very least uh, and a number of zombies that they would not see yet with Artorius and Andon <laughs> okay, but and if you do, if you and all safe, right? <laughs> uh, something like that. If you do that, in fact, I would have to place some zombies coming towards Rios as well. Oh man, yeah, you're right. It's a bad idea. Um, but if it's played right, not only could you guys get out of the building. But you could finish. Uh, you could you could make busy all of the ninjas that are there, but not the 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 tanks. So with that, we're we're going to be a few more minutes with this. I want you guys to make a decision, yay or nay, or talk about it for a minute while I yeah, finish okay. doing some preparing. Preparation. Ross, what's your opinion? Uh, Ross is not here tonight. I mean, um, Remy. Arcturus. Uh, he goes, ah. You want some uh, zombie action? Headed your way? <laughs> some hot zombie action. <laughs> I mean, if you think it'll help the situation, I'd say go ahead. <laughs> It'll certainly give you more possibilities. You can, uh, you get uh, how many possibilities debating on how many be, show up. It's going to be between one and three. Um, and it's going to be based on how many, uh, how many I roll into existence <laughs> at each location. And it's going to be a D6 at each location. <laughs> Fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, 
I won't do it exposed. That that's just you know. Okay. While well, you think about it, Connor, what do you th what do you say? Uh. <laughs> Are you pro zombie or not? Honestly, <laughs> if you uh, <coughs> play it, I have a card that I'll play on top of it. If you don't, yeah. I... Okay, it might help the strategy if we know what the card is. Oh, uh, mutation. When uh, when encountering an infected creature such as a, yeah, whatever, uh, one of them mutates into a more powerful monster, all store knights gain one possibility. Holy crap! Uh, you have that one, then. <laughs> um, well, it, you know... It's it's up to you. it's up to you guys. It's your doom. <laughs> yeah, totally. This could doom us all. You do realize, yeah. <laughs> next yeah. week, yeah. Uh, here we go. Here's the announcement for next week. Next week on Possibility War, we make new characters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all get by zombies. And fire, by fire, and fire. <laughs> oh well, zombies and an exploding building. So you know, it's up to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't have to kill them. We just have to get out. Yeah, deal with them uh, by whatever means. So, um, this could be bad, or it could it, it could say you know it it cause enough chaos that the ninjas have other better things to focus on. Remember, they're probably going to have to get out too. The ninjas. Yeah. Yes, they're in the very same quandary you are. However, are these ninjas uh, guns for hire, or are they uh, true believers? Yeah. Now, yeah. are they kamikaze? <laughs> come back to uh, peaches. Come back to a couple of weeks ago when you were talking. Well, it, it would be a few minutes ago between peaches and 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 Artorius. But think about what Artorius described doing and all of the crunchy you heard over the over the uh, phone. Yeah, his uh, winter spell. He, uh, yes, uh, hailstorm. Now, what do you think about these ninjas? If they hung around for that and all of them died downstairs what do you think they would do up here especially if they don't know their their ninja clan brethren have died uh, I don't know that like you said it depends on if they're for hire or fanatics they, yeah they could run away or they could be more fanatic I I just I haven't got that kind of measure from them well Never mind. They are fanatics. The one, okay, uh, used uh, seppuku with Nightbird. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. And these are the guys he trained. Yeah. So they're my bet is for fanatics. Okay. Yikes. So do they know what's happened to below? Uh, you don't know. There's no way to really tell. Yeah, how bad do they want to uh, appease their brethren here? Or, um, what is it, avenge? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> do, do we want to table it until next week? Yeah, let's table it until next week. It's late. I'm, I'm not thinking too clearly anymore. Okay. So, uh, we will we'll come back to that. We've got the time to destruction listed. Uh, let's see, I already have all of this stuff in motion so I can delete it, um, because it doesn't need to stay anymore. All right, any questions before we pop chaff and evade out of here? I don't have any. No? Okay, so next week we'll get together and we'll finish this up. And, and now this little fire that's over here is not that important anymore, is it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. So we'll deal with, we'll, we'll come back to that next weekend. Um, I, the way you're, you're definitely in combat. 
this I'm not sure if we should run this I don't think we're gonna run this as a DSR um, unless you guys want to attempt to go back into the computer room and disarm the bomb but I'm not sure you have time for that uh, the bad guys that are around you may not allow for that etc etc <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm no, I'm no bomb technician. If it, uh, unless it was like gasoline in a rag, uh, and I could put it out with a fire extinguisher, probably not my forte. Uh, uh right. It's the, the 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 download done though on the computer. Um, sure you haven't been able to find out. It's on the computer inside the computer room. Remember, you've got a USB stick plugged into the computer. Yeah. Gonna have to grab that before we uh, get out. Mm-hmm. That's the truth of it. But at least the door's open behind you. <laughs> and <laughs> and there there is there are windows that leave from that room. They're just not drawn on here. So. Yeah, and uh, the thing about windows is that. One, they're breakable, and two, about me, is that I can uh, somewhat fly. We can fly, we can fly, we can fly. Okay, so, alright, next week, same bat time, same bat channel, we're gonna, we're gonna take out some bad guys. And okay. our, we'll have uh, Catherine's character with us. Yes, she'll be able to make more decisions. So. <laughs> and she'll have a vote then. Um, but uh, keep in mind what you guys want to do. Zombies or no zombies. And uh, we will carry on from there. Yeah, this will give you guys a whole week to think about whether you want to, to, uh, to have that kind of a distraction. And will it be more of a detriment or a benefit to you? So think on it. Uh, let's see. I, I think that's it. I don't need to be on here anymore. So my friends... Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. All Good right. Night.